against again what i've said earlier i i believe is still the strongest player in this tournament uh with the way that spargo has been playing lately and it's gonna be interesting to see how Paltana's is gonna deal with uh steve <laughs> uh, yeah uh like I, on paper maybe we can see like obliteration or maybe not you know it's just like again the punish game that steve has is absolutely nasty the what? counter did absolutely nothing to that point blank up tilt. i don't know what's going on man palatina's counter not the best but it is what it is still no damage on uh chag so he's sitting kind of nice i mean you know steve is kind of blocky and he put dirt block so i guess oh. palatina just wasn't sure which block she wanted to hit so maybe maybe that's Ooh. what she just got a little confused <laughs> got a pretty good answer there to the mining right there 77 percent and counting and uh wow that's a stock yeah Zero to death, starting off loser's semifinals here, man. This is a loser's bracket. One player will be eliminated, and uh, it's not a good look for Spargo, but, I mean, we've seen him come back from worse, man, and he's just hot off of a 3-0 on Aaron. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he can do with this. Yeah, that was a, uh, like oh, a 40 my second. turn? My Whoa, turn? Yeah, definitely. Uh, possibly his turn. Uh, we're going to see the up smash get thrown out. That up smash very lethal. Oh! <laughs> take, take a ride in your own oh, cart, sir. Oh. I do not want this. <laughs> that's, some, that's some karma if I've ever seen it, man. That makes you instantly want to play a, uh, a reflector character just against this matchup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you do have a wolf. I mean... <laughs> And as, we've, as I've seen uh, before, too, I think Wolf actually does fairly well against Steve. Like, obviously, he can get caught in some really, really weird shenanigans. But for the most part, uh, just has a lot of good uh, tools and answers. That laser is a huge one. Hey, man, maybe in the Pyro patch, we'll get, like, a full Ganon redesign where he's Ocarina at time, the way he can just swing projectiles back at people. You know what? I, I really do wish that they would just make Ganondorf more Legend of Zelda E, but hey, good stuff oh, from Chad what a lead. there. Wow, that's a yeah, that's a huge lead. But I think we've seen this before with Aaron, where um I think Aaron took game one uh strongly and then mm -hmm. Chag or not Chag, excuse me, Spargo answered back um very, very strong. Yeah, as much as we've been seeing Steve on the rise here on the Wi Fi, you know, horizon. Uh, what we haven't really seen is Palutena, or a really strong Palutena, uh, against Steve. I, I, I kind of like figured that this could be a very oppressive matchup when played correctly. And uh, here we go, a perfect exhibition of that from Chag so far. I just realized that's a huge factor there. Uh, not only do they have the reflector to deal with the uh, the cart, but that explosive flame just goes to the other side of the of the dirt block or whatever wall that Steve's building. So that's that's actually interesting. I wasn't considering that before. Yeah. Plus, if there is no wall at all, he can just do the auto reticle too, which is also very safe. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so it seems like Palutena might have the answers to deal with Steve. I know there's been a bit of an anti-Steve, uh, <laughs> you know, chat kind of going on lately. A lot a lot of people are not sure how they feel about this character. But uh, it looks like Palutena is definitely not struggling. Hey, man, uh, that's just the mentality you got to have. You know, it's like Ch Chag is dealing with it. Wadi dealt with it. If you want to raise yourself to the, st the standards of these competitors, you want to see yourself in the payouts for these tournaments, you got to have an answer for these characters. Uh, every person that enters this tournament, man, we all got to deal with 85 different characters. So, and even right. tomorrow, tomorrow, it could be two more characters they have to deal with. So, you know, you mm -hmm. just got to get used to it. Oh, man, that's going to be a wild juice box next week. Let me tell you if that's the case. Yeah, facts. I'm 90% I'm, I'm sure, 99% sure, 1,000% sure they'll be around for next Juice Fox even. Yeah, no, for like, sure, because uh, they, they just mentioned how 11.0 is due to come out very soon. Oh, my God, again, send them to return oh, to sender. Be it. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah, use that to their Ooh. advantage. It's very much how when Steve gets you in the cart and you're forced to mash and Steve can likely still get a follow-up, Palatina using his own uh, options against him. Really clean stuff. Oh, so... Interesting. I just looked over real quick, and uh, someone mentioned that Palutena's projectiles do not go past the walls. Uh, you actually have to jump over them or break them. That's that's interesting. I figured Explosive Flame would be like, nah, I'm just going to do whatever I want. <laughs> I, I kind of believe it, too. It, it, it stuff's a lot of teleporting options as well. So, like, mm -hmm. Zelda couldn't close that gap, or Phantom couldn't close that gap. So, it is what it is, man. Uh, they got to give Steve some really good tools, because, again... Even with those tools, a character like Palutena can shut down a lot of Steve options. So, a uh, really good game one win for Chag. We, the solo, the solo Spargo Steve. That's a that's a that's a tongue twister. Definitely brought it all the way to top four of this insane tournament and uh, just eliminated or put to losers so many good players before this. So, uh, down but not out. And actually counter picking the Kalos, which is the typical Chag counter pick. I think Chag's pretty happy about this. Oh, yeah, no, Chag is definitely happy about this. And you think that Spargo would probably know better. I mean, unless, unless he just wants these good materials. But you think at the same time, they're very familiar with each other, that maybe Spargo would be like, look, I, I know this gives me a lot, but do I really want to take Chag 
to Kalos on game two when he's up 1-0? Do I really want to do that? Oh, he tried to put the block down, but couldn't do it. He was too high up. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, uh, can I try to get some damage in, but doesn't find the mark? Let's see. I, I, I think the Pokemon stages are actually pretty good for Steve in terms of, like, mining materials. Get some more <laughs> uh, stronger materials than just standard dirt ones or, like, wood that you would see otherwise, so... <laughs> yeah, Jack just sat there like, all right, bring the card over. I'm going to send it back. <laughs> really just took the time, didn't get stressed about that, and continues to put on some good damage here. Ooh, going to get the cart that time. Swinging with the forward smash, not going to meet the mark. Is that enough? Oh, wow, good recovery. Not quite, yeah. A, a rant, well, that's a, was that like a roll read or something? I don't know, man, but uh, going to get punished regardless. And Chag's sitting pretty uh, so far. Doesn't have to... I guess approach. You know what? I know how they they give Steve that sound, like when he lands from too high up. They make the you know the sound that he he you know is hurting himself. They should yeah. actually make him take damage for that. Chill. <laughs> no, no. I, I think I think I think it'd be good. You know, he he lands. He takes like 0.1 percent. But like, I, it makes sense. Why why make the sound if it's not gonna do anything? Come on, Sakurai. Uh, you gotta you gotta stay you gotta stay on top hey. of your game here. <laughs> Hey man, it's like cartoons. Sometimes everything doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't <laughs> that make sense fair, that Mewtwo weighs it. doesn't make sense that we Mewtwo weighs as much as he does. <laughs> it doesn't. Honestly, it doesn't. He should be weighing what heavier than um than uh Terry actually, uh, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Whoa, that was huge. Big old down smash could even things up. Why does Joker weigh that much more than Sephiroth? I cannot believe it. <laughs> but I, dude, I about don't that. know. <laughs> uh, until Punish is huge here for Spargo. Oh, he tried to end his life. Mm -hmm. I mean, Spargo's gone for that a few times, man. He's definitely out there ready to just put down the hurt. Ooh, oh, what a, okay. What a call out, dude. That was insane stuff. What? <laughs> They're just taking turns with each other, man. It's like my insane advantage, your insane advantage here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, gonna get the uh, the footstool there. Oh, <laughs> that was, was just... <laughs> interesting, actually. That was a really good use of the platform. And wow, the chase. I'm telling you, man, that command grab it just is insane advantage for Steve. Yeah, that was actually like a, uh, a ledge trap that actually went from one ledge to the other. Just like a weird setup and able to allow him to close out that second stock too. Sitting pretty as well. Uh, but 114 though, could be losing his stock very soon. Chag is very on top of his game. There's the up smash to close it out. <laughs> it's just so funny watching Steve do the star KO because he's just like running all the way to the back. <laughs> Instant diamond, pretty decent resources, but already burning a lot of them in the process. So mm -hmm. let's see what we can do here as Steve. Not going to get the grab, going to get comboed here on Kalos, man, from coast to coast. And there we go. Couple yep, landing hard once again. You can hear the sound uh, of Steve's ankles crushing, crushing under the pressure. <laughs> oh, wow. That's smart, actually, right there from Spargo. And I actually don't know what that counter was, but maybe anticipated the uh, minecart, maybe? That would have been maybe. That's probably it, yeah. Ooh, what a okay. grab, though. Ooh, tried to go for... I don't know if he meant to do the back air that way or if he's just, Ooh. like, looking for the mix-up in general. But, yeah, this could be a bad spot. Spargo is going to get back to stage. No just fine. No way. my God. Dude. Hard punishing that down. So that's what he needed to stay alive in this bet. 1-1 one, one coming the momentum. Especially, that is such a call-out, dude. That's like the freaking... What do they call it? The S-Fat in Melee where you counterpick to your opponent's <laughs> favorite counterpick and win on there anyway just to get in their head. That's worked for me before. I don't think it's actually worked for S-Fat, though. But it's worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely definitely sounds like an S-Fat thing. Uh, shout out to S-Fat, by the way. Super sick Melee player if you guys aren't familiar. Um, you know, when he's not playing Zane. But uh, yeah, no, uh, mm -hmm. definitely is a bit of a mental game there. But Spargo uh, able to do a good job, take the win, take a big old W right there on Kalos. But, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we head back there, to be honest. Yeah, I actually got a reverse 3-0 doing that tech uh, to win a tournament, too. That was that was pretty sick. I was pretty happy about that. Uh, but yeah, S-Fat trying against Mewtwo King did not work in his favor at all. But it, it, sometimes it'd be that way. 1-1 <laughs> one, one here. We're going to go to Smashville, which is, again, not kind of like a Spargo pick. And uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just a mental game. Maybe we're all doing S-Fat. Maybe. Um, should be interesting. I mean, again, uh, it does kind of keep some of the resources a little low here. Oh, my God. Almost. Uh, wow. <laughs> hey, come what? right back into uh, my up tilt. Please and thank oh, here you. Here we go. Oh, okay. wow. Breaks apart that grab. Really good stuff there so far, man. Trying to punish an up tilt or something. Trying to catch an anti-air. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, just not able to find it. Okay, but this is a little bit of something. I'm not sure what Chiag wanted. I think that might have been a misinput. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, Sparkle's still sitting pretty here. Oh, that's not going to kill, right? Okay, still living. Yeah, really good up smash there. Not too far away from closing the stock. That's going to do it right there. The ledge trap is complete. And now Spargo uh, applying a lot of understanding in the matchup. I'm not sure. I think Chag might have wanted more space here. Ooh. Okay, good uh, recovery there. Just kind of bobbing and weaving around the down tilt. Um, Spargo's honestly been really on top of the elytra recoveries. Uh, get some really good angles on him. Actually, we, I think the fact that Spargo being going Steve literally all night gets us to show like what a different play style can do with the character. And it's just like mm -hmm. you give Spar you give Steve a massive stage and he can farm materials. You give him a small stage and he can just oppress you with his insane damage output. So it's just like I don't know, man. Sometimes you're a good character and you can ride that out. But that's gonna be a good conversion there from Chag, making it two stocks apiece. Are you telling me that Steve is probably a top tier character, not just online but potentially offline as well? Is that what I'm hearing? Well, I'm not going to talk about offline because we don't really have it <laughs> offline, Steve, uh, stuff like that. It's like, that's why I always wonder. It's just like when people say characters like that are better offline. But either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, the backer off of the side, man. Steve looking kind of nice right now. Yeah, looking uh, oh. looking very good here. Uh, now a whole stock lead. You know, that's crazy. Just turns around and just starts just <laughs> just starts jabbing uh, Jack wow, all the way across dude. the stage. Oh, oh, no way. I thought he was going to just drop the anvil on him like, outright. But saw the dodge, the down smash. He still has a chance to intercept here. Oh, that could be a wrap. <laughs> yeah, he, he's looking for all the stuff that he's cooking right now. Uh, Spargo, man, just getting so creative with this character. And uh, uh, one, one thing I'll definitely say about Steve is that uh, the, the coolest thing about this character is the types of setups, like the ledge traps that you can set up with this character are genuinely, genuinely like insane. Like you have to be cracked out of your mind to get some of these, like think of some of these things. It's, it's insane. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's getting all the best practice right now, doing really good at applying himself. I think an up throw should be able to do it actually pretty soon. Doesn't need to overcommit. Okay. I think I, I think he could have just done it with up throw, but fine. Maybe. I, um, um, I think he. That. <laughs> I think he wanted to actually send Chag off stage and then just use the blocks to to block the teleport. I think that's what they wanted to do. Bro, man, Spargo is a treat to watch. Doesn't matter what character mm. he's playing, man. This guy in Grand Finals two weeks in a row with Roy, not even his main. And then last week in Grand Finals with Lunchbox, $1,000 tournament with his Cloud. Uh, this guy, uh, maybe he's going to be in Grand Finals four weeks in a row, maybe? Uh, was he in the Lunchbox was Grand he? Finals? Yeah, he's against Skittles. He reset the okay. bracket and then Skittles won. Gotcha. So... Uh, I don't know. I just let's take a look at this top eight archive here in the Vox Discord. Uh, so yeah, top two, top, uh, and then yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, let's see. Oh, he was also there for the last lunchbox as well, where he won over Chag in that insane game ten grand finals. So yeah, uh, well, I mean, it's like you mentioned before. He he usually was for a good hot minute only showing up for lunchboxes, you know, higher prize pools. So. No, yeah, if, if he makes the run to Grands here, it'll be four weeks in a row. Uh, and actually, like, it, w it w the the week before that, I don't even know if he answered or not because MK Leo won that one. But before that, he won the lunchbox. So, I don't know. Whatever it is, man, uh, f he, he could be five for five of, la of the last six weeks. We, we, uh, we still have time will tell. Uh, here we are, man. Loser semifinals. Back to Kalos Pokemon League, which it, it's sort of weird because, like, he's now counterpicked Chag twice here. Uh, no, this was Chag's counterpick this time. Oh yeah, that's right, because he did. Yeah, uh, he actually lost the last game. You're right. Yeah, but I mean, still, just just to take Chag to Kalos, I mean, definitely goes to show some of your confidence in general. But now we're gonna see if Chag can find a way to turn this around, because Spargo did take the last game here. So I, ooh, and we'll still make it back. Actually, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, man. <laughs> Walks uh, his way say, to the ledge. Oh, oh no way, he missed that. <laughs> On the tall Palatine, especially with the roll in and everything, that's crazy. But it's amazing. That's exactly what Chag needs to bring this to a game five, if possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, something to touch on as well is just like, man, back when, once we get, ooh, he, <laughs> man, he's so good at just just hitting Spargo with his own garbage, man. His own, like, just straight up explosives and his mine carts. He's been doing a really good job. But, man, once we get back to offline, if Spargo ever gets his travel visa, man, he's going to be a menace, man. I, honestly, top ten in the world material. Uh, honestly, you know, the potential is definitely there. Wow, taking the stock right back. Taking 58 on the second stock, though. Uh, we'll have to see if he can find a way to even things up here a little. Did he get hit three times? Oh, my God. Did he get hit three times by the cart? 
Uh, I actually, I wasn't counting, but uh, <laughs> even stocks here, and now it's Chags continuing to apply this pressure, applying this lead even further. And uh, I, I don't know, man. I would love to see a game five in this matchup. We don't really get to see a whole lot of top level, Steve. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, we'll have to see what happens here right now. Uh, Chag does have a nice little lead. Chag's got a, I don't know if Chag's like really noticing it or if they just kind of want to try and push this advantage still, but like, you have a percentage lead. Why Why are you trying to play Steve's game? Like, back off. Ooh, the hard uh, up smash right there is going to be punished by a, a couple of uh, up to up air action going on with the axe. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Got some good resources here for Spargo, but just as I say that, man, going to be knocked off the top and coming out with a new stock of diamond on board. Right, well, let's see if, uh, if Chag actually just kind of dials it back here a little bit because... They have been trying to continue to, you know, oh. In, oh, not gonna kill. They have been trying to, like, basically make every, uh... No way. Oof. Big oof. <laughs> uh, this could be tournament stock here for Chad. Oh. combo starter down, so off of the wall, man. Yeah, man, that was uh, that was a lot of damage to start this off, dude. Chag had a nice lead, and then just kept like going in on Steve. Like, I, you have the lead, just back off. Like, let let Spargo come to you at that point. That's nasty stuff, dude. The fact that he can get a grab after the down tilt into the iron down throw is so huge. And oh, putting oh. him in terrible positions. But now, again, Steve isn't very heavy at all. So if Chag does not put himself in KO percent, he can definitely run this to game five. Oh, just I say that, 97%, that's definitely KO percent. Off smash will do it. Maybe this will finish it off right now. Oh, yeah, I was definitely looking for that uh, forward air right there. Possibly the spike hitbox to just really put a statement on this set. But yeah, oh my god, these guys are really just dancing around each other. This is terrifying. A good forward smash, a good up smash from Steve is all it takes, man. He's looking, he's searching for it. Will he catch him above him? Oh, man. He's got another diamond on board just in case he might need it. And wow, yeah, Jack just really letting him have uh, all these materials. Oh my gosh, dude. This should be it. This should be the game, I think. Yeah, that is Go going to be, be the game. And the set. Oh yeah, like and that. the set. Mm-hmm. Jeez, Argo, um, man, showing up to top three, made it to the payout with his Steve, eliminating so many good players, putting them in losers. And oh, the only person to beat him is Wadi Game 5, so uh, going to have the rematch very shortly. But just like that, man, uh, Spargo advances to the losers' finals of Juicebox 30.